<laughs> so we've been doing a lot of motorized things lately. We figured it's finally time to tap into the EV world. The custom electric pit bike built by yours truly. A few key details, we got a 10 horsepower motor, but however, batteries are a little on the pricey side, so you couldn't tell. You gotta plug it in. Oh my gosh. 220 volts. 220? <laughs> I gotta plug it into my stove. We should have enough cord to, really it shouldn't even matter. I mean, I would think so. <laughs> How many feet do we have? Uh, there's roughly 150 foot there, so just don't go too far from home. Look at this thing, so we got, oh. you got dual gearing on there? You got it stepped down for extra torque. Serious, now, wasn't able to figure out a good twist throttle system, so I got the thumb throttle. Next best thing, quad riders kind of thing. So got my junction box. <laughs> How does that work? loaded, just on, off. Oh, it is, so it's like a throttle. You went with the metal box and we're running 220 volt through there? Yeah, it's kind of oversight. I think I'm gonna wear rubber gloves just to be extra safe. Yeah, keep yourself grounded. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the tank there for? Yeah, so honestly, it's kind of serves dual purpose. You can either put uh, some lubricant in there and lube your chain with it, but also for your non-EV friends, when you're out riding the trails, you can carry some extra petrol for them. <laughs> oh, is that, is that what that's for? Yeah. Okay. You know, when you're far from home, but I guess you're going to be about 150 feet from home. <laughs> the issue is we figured out these motors aren't as water resistant as DC motors, so I had to uh, fab up a little bit of a skid plate. But oh, that's nice. Yeah, it kind of was nothing. And believe it or not, it only took me like 15 minutes to make that. That's it? Yeah. So. Why is it dented? Did you wreck already? Oh no, it's just four minutes. Oh, it's four minutes. Yeah, yeah, if you want one on your dirt bike, I can get you hooked up. Besides like the electric motor, it just looks like a dirt bike. So I think it should work. I mean, assuming you have a circuit breaker that can handle the amps we're gonna pull. I hope so. Uh, the best one I got in my house is my stove. So we'll have to tap into that. Oh, this is gonna be a tangled mess. <laughs> Ideally, we can get it straightened out <laughs> to where that's not an issue. Man, are you sure <laughs> this is easier than going to the gas station? So I think we're stepping in a new thing potentially here because it's like the battery market's very expensive, very hard to dispose of, hard to mine, you know, and this is just going straight to the grid. You just bypass all that battery. <laughs> I don't, I'm sure it's still, <laughs> there's still some kinks in that system. Well, yeah, literally kinks. Oh, that's probably what I do too. Luckily, it's not super far from the track. So we're not losing a ton of cordage. By track, you mean just the little backyard? Yeah, pit bike track. little pit bike track. Yeah, I mean, it varies on location how much riding you can actually do. And so hence, you might need to invest in a little more cable. But this is what we got for today. Oh, wow. It's Biggest a, breaker in the house. This is it? Down in here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. This is way more convenient, bud. I'm glad we're doing EVs. I see you even quit the gas stove. You went electric too. Yeah, exactly. We're one step ahead of everyone. We got power. Well, I guess let's see what it does. Okay, yeah, let's get on it. <laughs> Some jump. Let's make sure you don't go too far. Smoked out? Uh oh. Oh my goodness. He's not super happy right now. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely different than exhaust. I don't think you want smoke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people say stuff about not playing with fire, but they don't say anything about not playing with electricity. Yeah, it's like we're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? this can't hurt me. It's invisible. Oh my god! <laughs> this thing is so heavy, dude. Oh my gosh, you pulled the cord almost tight. <laughs> oh man, we are running out of cord. I really want to see how fast this thing goes, but we're really limited here. I think we're gonna try to get to a new location, see what kind of top speed this thing will do, because we're not gonna be able to reach it here at the house, that's for sure. <laughs> Since we are so limited on cord, we uh, decided for the next best option. We have a portable moving power source. So we rented the biggest diesel generator that we could find. I like how we're taping off their name. Uh, well, you totally can't see that I right there. I don't want to get put on the do not rent list because I use this company quite often. 60 horse diesel, so plenty of power for what we're doing. We only have a 10 horse motor. So honestly, you know, I was looking at it. We could build multiple and go with all your riding buddies. You could plug all your buddies in right here and ride together. Oh, we should, so, oh we should have plenty of power. All five of you could ride. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, exactly. 
That's pretty nice. So we gotta get her fueled up here, then we're gonna head to our test location. See what kind of top speed we can do, because 150 feet of car just wasn't enough. Alright, we are hardwired in. So no bailing. <laughs> yeah, you're committed now. Up. I made a nice uh nice boom to kind of keep me away from the trailer tires. That's ideal. Yeah, and so we're back out to a nice testing location, got plenty of space to hit a top speed run. So I have about 10 feet, give or take. Yeah, it doesn't look like you got much. So you hopefully you trust your driver. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll figure out the speed, just kind of hit cruise control or something, just dial in. All righty, let's do this. Let's ride. I'm ready, let's get a high speed run. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Oh, we're quick, this looks fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Savage gas pipe. I thought you were gonna wreck into the truck I for a almost second. Did. The, I think the switch is a safety concern. This thing has way more power than before. More than the gas engine did too. I thought I was gonna get electrocuted. I thought this is it. Let's pull this off to the side, reset. Let's try to address some of these issues. I think we need a longer. We need to extend that cord a little bit. You think we need, we a, little need a little more play? Right. Yeah. What do you think? That's probably a good call. Yeah, so is that just the force of the wire that bent that down? Yeah, literally yanked the thing down. I thought for sure it was gonna like split the cord and there's gonna be live wires dangling. On top of crashing a dirt bike, I was gonna get electrocuted and then <laughs> ran over by the trailer. Remember, at the end of the day, you're saving the environment. That's right, all for a good cause. Yeah. So I'll keep them down on emissions. The tether definitely adds some issue, but the, it makes up for it in the power. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, imagine how much weight we saved on the battery aspect too. We're not running that's, a battery, just an electric That's true. Motor, so that helps a ton. But you do need to have like the trailer and the truck and someone else to drive the truck. Yeah, but I already have a truck and then you can just rent this thing for 300 bucks a weekend and that's about what it costs anyway to go riding these days. <laughs> <laughs> Got the insulated gloves back on. Let's give her another shot here. Now I'm ready for the power. I feel prepared. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're cooking. Oh, she snapped. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. Having. Generator shut off again. Again? Yeah, that's really scary when it shuts off because I don't have any more power and the truck keeps rolling. Turns out it's too powerful. The generator can't even keep up with it. It keeps tripping the breaker. I can't believe uh, that. We got the biggest one we could rent. It's still not big enough. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to try it again and see if it'll hang on this time. Oh, he's doing a wheelie. Oh, wow. Stop, stop. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty quick with how fast it just dies on you. Too many more runs like that, though, I'm gonna have a heart attack. This is scary. Well, I don't think you're gonna have a heart attack. You're just gonna eat the pavement. <laughs> when you get yanked yeah. by when you get yanked by a 240 volt cord, I just try to grab the grips and touch everything rubber and nothing but. Way too fancy for a generator. I think we uh, we built our bike too big. We just put too big of a motor in it. Yeah, a little too powerful for this piece. So it goes to show how much we need to up the grid to support our this EV revolution. <laughs> that is quite the operation. Between being tethered and then right next to a truck tire and trailer, you're either gonna get yanked by the car and electrocuted or ran over. <laughs> this is so bad on all levels. Now we're really putting our build up to the test. We got the gas bike. See how our EV compares to the old school gasoline bike. Oh yeah, what do we got here, 125 pit bike? Exact same model and motor that came out of the EV one. So this will really tell us if we gained any power or if we wasted a bunch of our time. Yeah. Look at the balloons. Look at that. Yeah. 
It's just ruining the environment. Things leaking gas everywhere. You're much better here with your diesel electric hybrid bike. Well, like I said, if we wanted to rent it this weekend, somebody else would have. So it had been running anyway. Now we're using it to kind of further the EV market. Yeah, so we're going to put to the test uh, against its rival. This is the exact same make and model motor we pulled out of the EV version. So we're going to run them side by side, see which one has more power, more usability, more control. I technically have more horsepower. Um, I don't know if it's usable horsepower though. But honestly, I'm kind of limited at my power supply. If I had a good power supply, I think all day I would whoop them. But. Yeah, the problem is you could have probably only go about, I don't know, 50 yards. Whoever you beat them before 50 yards. That's all I need, man. Just get them off the line. <laughs> all I care about is the whole shot. It's like butter, first kick every time. So what do you think about that? I got an electric start. Check that out. <laughs> Let's race. Uh, we're gonna line up for a race here. What Blake doesn't know is I shut his gas off. I'm trying to take every advantage I can because the generator won't stay running. Yeah, this thing, this thing's <laughs> terrible to be honest. I know, so hopefully we can get one clean run, but if I don't, hopefully it cuts off right at the perfect time and I can go right past him. Oh, you're leaving him in the dust. Oh, we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. stop>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you had him off the start. I did. I had him bogged because I shut his gas off, but it must still have enough of the bowl to keep going. Yeah. It runs out way down there, so he has to watch. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know that, but I mean, you got him off the line, but gas is definitely faster, bud. If we can figure out the the power source, we have the torque to win. We don't have the cable to win, but we have the torque. But obviously, if that can't handle it, I don't know what would. I just don't think we know enough about electricity. Yeah, I think that's been made very clear today. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know the difference between a volt and amp or an ohm or whatever those things are, but all I know is this thing won't go. Shut his gas off, so he's currently pushing it all the way back here. <laughs> is that him? <laughs> I see him down there. He's like a quarter mile down the road. Call him. Can't get that thing started? No, it won't start. Dude, this generator fires right up. Really? Yeah. Um, you might want to check the fuel shot off. The fuel shot off? Why would it... Did you touch it? I have no idea. It's weird it's in the off position, Justin. I thought it might run out before before you beat me in the race, but I guess not. <laughs> Dude, you can't fix a race. <laughs> well, clearly I need all the help I can get. This thing's not working. to work out a little bit but uh, I think as of now I'm gonna keep my gas bikes because I don't want that happening while I'm riding it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man it went on fire. Hey look at look at the look what happened here. Oh is the generator off? I don't want to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my hand was right there turning it on. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you put a 30 amp switch on something that draws 150 amps. Oh. Generators off, breakers off so you're good. That's crazy. Oh my god. You just killed our EV though. Yeah, I think technology still has a ways to come, so I'm gonna stick to my gas bikes for now. But uh, I'm gonna be hopeful for the future. I'm just, we're not there yet. It's coming, but slowly, so. That's gonna be it for now. If you like what we're building, make sure you subscribe, we got a lot more coming. Imagine pulling up to the track like this. I mean, everyone would be thinking you're the coolest guy in yeah, town. Yeah, you'll be the talk of the town for sure. Oh my. So, I don't know how that would do with the court running around the track with the other people, but. Yeah, you just zap them. 